Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing great. It is January 3rd, 2014, and we are up at uh, Cross Ranch State Park here in North Dakota. It's my birthday tomorrow, and I really like being out here. Um, so we decided to rent this cabin out for my birthday. In just a second, I'll take you in there to kind of show you what's going on. Uh, there's another cabin over there, and they got a couple yurts down along the river over there, but uh, we're supposed to have a blizzard tonight and tomorrow so everybody else canceled except for us so we might be stuck out here but hey that's okay because we got plenty of wood we got a fireplace actually two fireplaces one's going right now the other one is uh, attached to the, the oven so I'll take you in here there's the outhouse out there it does have more modern amenities uh, if you look way up there is that's the office building up there and they have showers and stuff up there but uh, for the most part you just kind of kick it here in the cabin the dogs are going crazy right now it's 40 degrees here right now so everything all the snow's melting but it's supposed to be negative 60 with the windshield tomorrow so it's gonna be a big change I'm just kind of doing a pan around I'm gonna walk in here and I'm gonna sit down, take my boots off, so I'll shut you off here in the next clip. I'll give you a tour of the van. Of the, not the van, there's the inside the cabin now. My son Jordan is uh, walking up to the loft. Uh, they stoked the fire before we got here, so it's the heat's rising up to the top, so it's a little warmer up there. But as we walk into this cabin here, we got uh, two sets of bunk beds on each side with a little lamp desk combo in the middle. There's a chest. We're not going to use any of this stuff. We usually take these mattresses and bring them towards the fireplace up here. But they got a little sink up in here. A little storage area there. Got some wood. And when I was talking about the second fireplace, I was talking about down in here. This is, uh, you use wood to heat your stove up here and it works pretty darn good. So we're going to get that stoked to get a little bit more heat in here. Um, after a while we'll have to shut one of them off because it does get pretty warm in here. It just has another little kitchen cabinetry there, pretty neat. And a sitting area out here with some books and a bookcase, some games and stuff like that. There's our chest of wood, and we got plenty in the more wood in the shed outside. Uh, the thing is that they ask you to restack, refill this uh, chest up before we leave, and we always do that. It seems like a fair deal. And you got some more sitting around here. It's really nice to come out here in the in the summer and the fall too with the beautiful cottonwood trees to shine out. But this is where we are. We're going to be here for the next couple of days. See if you can see upstairs here. Walk up this ladder. I don't know. It's not pretty dark up in there, but yeah, my camera's not going to pick it up. Anyways, that's the loft. Here we are. Here's a upstairs view of the cabin. But yeah, all right guys, I'm gonna try to get this fire started in here in the stove. I put one of those uh, cotton balls with the Vaseline in there. And I just got some wood shavings. I shaved off a piece of wood with the ax. I'm gonna try to get a couple in here. cotton balls it acts like a candle wick almost and burns for about a minute so it gives you time to get some wood on there and you don't have to worry about it blowing out just like that we got it now we're just going to check to see which way the vent is to open it last time we were here we forgot to open the vent and got smoked out so we'll just kind of check it here and see and uh, get back to you later Talk to everybody. Just going to show you the other side of the cabin here. That's where the woodshed is, and the back end's got two entrances. It's really nice down here. It's going to be extra peaceful this weekend with nobody else down here besides us. Besides the camp host down there, as it's in his office, we're going to be the only ones down here. It's going to be pretty nice. Alright, now oh yeah, right there's the outdoor bathroom. It's gonna be 
freezing tomorrow, so nobody's gonna be using that except the boys. <laughs> but anyways, talk to you.